In today's world, the need for Internet access all over the globe is increasing. So is the desire to collect more data about our planet from outer space. Well, that's why one man in Colorado is removing a critical barrier to space travel by making reusable 3D printed rocket engines. Quite the story. Michael Abeda was up north of Boulder to find out how this works. When you think of building rocket engines, you probably think of teams of scientists spending hours, days, even years, tediously pouring over every single detail to get everything right. Well, they're doing that here in Bertha, just faster than anybody thought possible. Uh, we're two minutes out. It's just another day at Ursa Major Tech in Bertha. One minute, Tim. Founder and CEO Joe Laurenti is leading his team in a rocket engine test. He says they do this a few times a week. Less than 30 seconds. Because they can build high power, reusable rocket engines. fast, which is new in the space industry. Rockets really prior to 2010 had been uh, decades old programs that were either retrofitted or modified. These days, more and more companies and organizations need to get to space quickly and inexpensively. So Joe built his company to meet that need. We built a business plan around focusing on these engines, which are the barrier to entry for most, most space access. One of their secrets is that they developed an alloy that allows them to 3D print most of their products. About 80% of the mass of the engine is 3D printed. Which drives the price down and cuts production time. But Joe says, more importantly, has reinvented how rocket engines are built. I think it's how we're using it that is really revolutionary. It's using 3D printing to remove processes and build things that can't be built any other way. Which means they have a lot more testing to do. Their first year in production, they're making 30 Hadley engines. Next year, they'll make 60. And Joe says he thinks eventually they could be producing 100 reusable rocket engines every year. making outer space seem a lot closer than it really is. We are really pushing the boundaries of what additive manufacturing can do. Michael Aveta, covering Colorado First.